Hi, I would like to show you just some basic workflow how to create a cable trace pack and how to use the dynamic uh, tool palette to add uh, cable tray elements to your 3D model. So now what I have here is the sample project, nothing special. So I will begin at the very beginning. I will make a new project right here in the project manager. I will enter a name for it. Uh, let's say cable tray sample project and I will place this uh, project to my desktop. I will create a new folder for it named test project. So this will be it open. So this is the uh, storage folder of the program generated files. So next, I prefer metric and millimeters. Next, I prefer the DIN standards. Next, I leave all the subfolders as supposed by the project setup wizard. SQL light local database. Okay, and I don't want to edit any, any additional settings. So just hit finish. Now we have to wait a little bit. Okay, our new project, this cable tree sample project is just created. So if I go to the Plan 3D model, I create a new model named Cable Tray Test Model File. So this file is created. I can draw my pipeline or whatever I want. So the thing is that in the specs, only the default spec sheets are there so for example if i change this from cs 300 to cs 900 the tool palette changes the dynamic pipe spec tool palette changes a little bit not too dramatically but if i change for this one there are some new elements here so the thing is that we don't have cable trace back here we cannot select it right now because it's not there so I go to the spec editor and I just hit new and I want to create a spec because I'm in on the spec tab. It is important that I am on the spec tab. So I will create new spec and it should be inside in the actual project what I would like to work with. So I go to the desktop, test project cable tray sample project and spec sheets folder. These are the specs, but I am already shown to you in the plan 3D. So I enter a cable tray spec. Now I will have a cable tray spec in the spec sheets and I would like to load a catalog. I would like to load the cable, my cable tray catalog and this will appear in the down side of the spec editor so I have created this spec it doesn't contain anything because it's completely white here so what is up here is the content of your spec now it is totally empty the down side, the down area is the loaded catalog so from the catalog, I would like to add, let's say, the cable tray itself across an up 45 degree band, a T, another band, just this is horizontal band. 
let's say I add a reducer and but you shouldn't forget that if you want to change the length of the straight cable tray elements you have to enter in the component designation the custom value otherwise you cannot edit the sleeves I mean the straight cable trays inside the plan 3d model so I enter custom here I just copy pasted it so okay and I hit save so I go back to the plan 3d model and now hopefully we will have this cable trace back here and if I click on it voila we have this dynamic tool palette changed and we have all these pieces already so for example I add the T I hit F8 and it I don't know why but sometimes it freezes my computer okay change it back and again okay now it's working so it is working as intended so from this this point onwards I can uh, draw my cable tray layout so because I have entered custom at the component designation in the spec editor, I can change the length in the part geometry tab of the, the properties field of this element. So if I want to make it longer, it is just one value to be changed. So it is working as supposed to be. So this is it. This is how you start drawing your cable trays from complete scratch. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.